Hello folks, I'm Professor Phil. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my intro is a brief history of science contributors and features some of the greatest minds that have ever lived on this planet. And yet, in spite of the brilliance these people have shared with us, this flat earth nonsense seems to get sillier by the day. It appears that flat earth protagonists are afflicted with a disease that renders them progressively more dumb by the day. That said, there is possibly an alternative explanation, which is the opinion of my better half, Mrs. B. She often likens my engagement with flat earth nonsense as akin to standing at the farm gate, trying to argue with grazing and bellowing cows and bulls. No, 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 no. Actually, she does not believe anyone can be as dumb as flat earthers pretend to be. So her hypothesis is that we Globers, who are gullible enough to engage them, are being trolled. Every time we make a flat earth debunk video based on a ridiculous assertion from a flat earther, they laugh hysterically because we fell for the bait so heavily that we spent countless hours making videos debunking purposely silly made-up rhetoric. She thinks, in all likelihood, the joke is on us. Well, frankly, I'm not sure I agree with her. One only needs to spend an hour or so listening to 24-7 Flat Earth Discord, or to Quantum Eraser, or to Nathan Oakley and his troop, to realise that this level of stupidity is real. There are people who actually believe that the Earth is flat. Clearly, they supply a seemingly endless stream of mirth for almost every taste in comedy. Now, I would love to read your comments on Mrs. B's point of view. So, what is this video about? Well, I did promise to do them slowly and methodically. And this video, as part of a series of flat earth flogging videos, does exactly that. Now, if you ask a flat earther what they think the sun is, one gets a wide variety of opinions, each passed off as fact. This young Dutch fellow, for instance, together with many others, is an example of a self-described flat earther who actually thinks that the sun is a hologram. Others assert that it's a flat disk hovering above a flat circular earth. Some think it's both, and many will say that they don't know because they haven't been there. So in this video, I will show them that the sun cannot be a hologram or a flat disk, and in fact, it can only be a sphere. I know that won't help them realize that earth is not flat, but at least it will narrow the nonsense. As with star trails, think about what the sun looks like directly overhead. It's a perfect circle, and without considering that the energy that it produces, it does look like a disk. However, that shape should only last for the time that it is overhead. Otherwise, as it moves away, it must logically become more and more oval that's to the point that as it approaches the horizon, it would look like a bright straight line. That is not what we observe. In fact, the only shape possible for the sun to always appear perfectly circular is a ball. But there is more evidence. If we look at the sun with a telescope, we can see that it rotates. And how can we tell? easily. We can track the sunspots as they go around and then appear again. And of course, we can see solar flares at the edges. This not only tells us that the sun is not a disk, but that it must be a sphere. The sun also produces copious amounts of energy in terms of electromagnetic radiation, such as radio, infrared, visible light, 
ultraviolet, x-rays and of course heat. We detect and measure this energy, so we know it cannot be a hologram or a reflection of the sun from some other source. In other words, the sun is an object. So now we've established that it's an object. What explanations have flat earthers for the sun moving horizontally above our heads? Why does the sun not fall down? Why does the sun not run out of energy if it's small and local? Any flat earther can use a convex lens in direct sunlight to produce a pinpoint of light on the other side of the lens at the focal point. In fact, concentrate so much energy they can start a fire. Well, here is the final coup de grace for flat earthers. This can only happen if the rays approaching the lens are parallel. How can sunlight be parallel? Well, that's easy. The sun must be a long, long way away, which makes Aristophanes correct. The earth is indeed a sphere. OK, folks, that should do it. Are flat earthers genuinely dumber than rocks or are they trolling us? I would appreciate your opinion in the comments. Now, flat earthers, how about you provide your two bobs worth? Now, before I go, a special thanks to Wes Wally and Team Skeptic who gave my channel a shout out recently. And thanks to those who have done that in the past. I have finally cracked 2,000 subscribers. And thanks to all of you for supporting me and my channel. I do hope to do a live stream to celebrate 2,000 subs in the near future. So please indicate to me if you'd like to participate. And again, please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you. Cheers.